Hi, I'm Scott from Six Points Woodworks, and we're building this 41-foot trawler yacht in the backyard of her upstate New York home. Now, she was designed with a home builder in mind, and once complete, she'll be able to cross oceans and take two people comfortably anywhere in the world that they want to go. This is the Sea Dreamer Project. Hopefully this video will be worth the wait as I decided to finally just push through and complete this stage of the bottom planking. And as we've done in the previous videos, this is a Maryland style planking with the bottom planking running athortships instead of longitudinally. I got started by installing the last of the keel cheeks at station 40. Now I held off installing this one when I installed the previous one so many months ago because I wasn't sure how curvy the transom area was going to be. It turned out to be a pretty straight shot so installing was very straightforward. With the bottom planking complete on the starboard side from station 20 back to the transom, then I switched over to the port side and repeated the process. And I did a lot of this stuff just in time lapses because we've all seen this process before, so I really just wanted to concentrate on getting the work done. And that was just a matter of selecting and machining my stock, applying wood preservative to the exposed timber surfaces on all sides, then bedding everything in a tar compound, and installing my planks with lubricated and slotted wood screws.
right, I'm going to stop bottom planking right here, leave this section open because this is going to be my primary access point to the interior of the boat. Even though I have quite a bit of planking to do on the bottom going forward, a lot of those areas have tankage and other obstructions that really limit my access getting inside. So this will be my quickest and easiest way to be able to get inside the boat to continue work on the interior. And I am going to get back to work on the interior and take a break from bottom planking. I think we can all use a break from bottom planking because I want to take some time to work on the forward cabin walls and the forward decking. I think there'll be some interesting things to see and some challenges for me to work on. And even with leaving this open, I'll still be able to take a break from interior work, come back on the outside and continue that work and do about 95% of what's remaining out here with our subsequent layers of plywood and glass cloth and epoxy and paint before I have to come back and then finally close this in and limit our access to the interior of the boat. And I know it's taken quite a bit of time to get this video out, but the stock preparation has been so much labor. Uh, it really does slow you down. It's nothing that's hard. It's just that the volume of work is quite a bit. So I'm glad I pushed through and got both sides done so I can sleep at night and be able to move on to another section of the project and take a little break from all this bottom planking. And I'm sure everybody who watches along will appreciate taking that break as well. So your job is what it always is. Like, subscribe, and share. We'll see you next time.